Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Range. Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do some swatches. Swatches, swatches. I'm just I'm just going with like my usual swatch party. But today it's gonna be some new products. This was actually sent out the latter part of a 2020. So what box do I have, you ask? I have a Pat McGrath box. Every time I get a box like this, it reminds me of all of my Mac purchases because Mac boxes, I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> I box farted. So it brings back the memories. She had a sale the last part of December and I was like, oh my goodness, I think it was like $12, 12 bucks, a lip product. Pat McGrath is normally about 38 i think 45 somewhere around that ballpark per lipstick i've never tried this formula before so i'm going to swatch it firsthand with you guys because i'm nice like that what i like to do is I actually like to save these boxes because it comes with the adhesive and what i do is this is what i used to send to people you just gotta make you do with what you have you know just throw that there now we're gonna get into the product so i have three count them three lipsticks and i have two of her glosses i'm really excited i do have some lip liners on standby in case i need them but the first color here is a matte trance i believe all of these are matte trance shades let me just double check yes they are this first one here is the number 20 in fembot and this is the box packaging very extra i'm not gonna keep these boxes because i like Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. It has the ingredients in a little pamphlet inside. Interesting. It's It would be nice to keep these boxes, but I store all my lipstick upside down in a very small tray in one of my drawers that you may or may not see. So I'm just going to do away with these boxes. They're cute. So this is what the outer packaging of the bullet looks like. And, ooh that is the shade so i just turned down the lighting a little bit so that what i see in the viewfinder is what i'm seeing in real life so you get a true representation hopefully that's my intention so i'm gonna put this on my lips my lips are dry as hell and i forgot to put chapstick on so here we go first swatch is this really a matte From what I'm seeing on like my lips, it looks like a mid-tone pink, maybe almost a rosy pink. You kind of see a little bit of that purple hue to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pair this, which lip liner should I use? Let me use cork, I think it'll look good. This is gonna outline the outer portions of my lip because I think that with a shade like this, it's a little too bright for me. So I would want to mute it down and I would oftentimes choose a brown to do that. These lipsticks are definitely not entirely matte. They almost have that like velvet finish to them. There, that's like, that's more like it for me. See how I kind of tone down the pink in that? So this is a really good combination if you have cork. I believe Hambot is still in stock right now. I checked two days ago and they were still having the you know sale going on do i have a lip color like this already <laughs> of course i do but why the hell not you know what i mean 12 bucks to finally try pat mcgrath's lip product formula i'm already off to a good start this is a very nice very me lip combination moving right along let's do number 16 and peep show I think this is the lighter of the three. This is what the packaging looks like. Lady with some red glittery lips. I mean, ingredients list. Same black outer packaging. And this is what, yeah, it's a lighter shade. This is what the shade looks like. It looks peach. So this might go good with the BFF lip liner, but let's try it on first by itself. Oh yeah, that's peachy. The formula is very comfortable, but I would advise not to rub too much and you're gonna see why you can see the line. That is really light. Just gonna smooth that out a little bit. And there we have 
the peep show shade on my lips i would never use this by itself against my skin tone i know that for a fact so what i'm going to do is take the color pop bff lip liner and i'm going to use that to outline my lips if this doesn't do the trick for me i'm going to have to end up using cork again should be able to though I think for like just showing the color's sake, it's it definitely has kind of toned down that very kind of peach nude look on my lips. It's definitely muted it down, kind of pulled the look together a little bit better. I would go with something a little bit darker. That's just how I like things to look on my lips. But the color as a peach nude is beautiful. Again, I would just be careful. I mean, I'm going, you know, two for three, where rubbing the lipstick back and forth is gonna create those visual gaps that you can get from lipstick if you kind of press on them too much. But it's a very comfortable, light matte formula. In comparison to MAC, this is very light. I think it's gonna be close to their Powder Kiss. I've never tried it, but if it claims to be a velvet matte lipstick, this this is within the same category, very pillow-like. Well, again, guys, 12 bucks. Check Pat McGrath out if you haven't already. No, I'm not sponsored. I freaking wish. All right, and the last lipstick is Venus in Furs. I'm pretty excited about this one because I think this is the darkest out of the three. Box packaging, a crown made for a queen like myself. I'm just kidding not really number 24 venus in furs i don't think i said the number look at that oh oh yeah this lip color has me written all over it it's kind of a dusty like a dusty mauve kind of a little bit gray you can kind of see that grayish undertone and i'm going to take just for the the heck of it color pops lippy pencil in obvi Oh, these go very well together <laughs> they almost look like the same the same color based on color alone i think this is my favorite the best lip combo i think was the first one which was in fembot i really like the way that combo looked with cork but it might just be because i love cork with everything but as a color this happens to be my favorite on like first watch i knew that i was gonna really like it because i am very drawn to lip colors like this there are certain shades with lip glosses that i just kind of need to have because they're my favorite go-to colors but the most important thing for me is formulation i'm like on the verge of like burping which is why i sounded like that but yeah i'm more of a formulation person because it has to be comfortable for me i get irritated very easily and i won't stop thinking of the way it feels if i don't like it so i'm pretty like you must feel nice. The packaging though for these two lip glosses are exactly the same. This first shade here is a Lust Gloss in Love Potion, kind of an envelope style box. And this is a milky peach shade and it's got reflex in it, kind of pearlescent with a few of these blue specks in it, but most of the shimmer in it is kind of a pearlescent gold. And then the next gloss is another Lust Gloss in Faux Real, F-A-U-X, Faux. And then this one here is kind of a milky brown color, sort of a beige tone, and the reflex in it is pretty much exactly the same as the one in here and so let us get started first with love potion I'm really excited to try this formula Ooh, doe foot applicator it's got a bit of a curve to it so i'm assuming it's to glide on the lips a little bit more smoothly Ooh, it smells delicious okay oh this doe foot is everything nice all right, so this is that first shade here. I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna say in terms of the formulation and how I like it, but I want to try the second one first. So here is Love Potion again. Let's get to Faux Real. Look at the shine on that, juicy. Okay, before I put on the next gloss, I do wanna note that the glitter does stay on your lips. 
can see it like all throughout my lips so if that's gonna bother you just be aware maybe you might want to go with something that's just cream without the glitter finish don't you just love the sound of that smack when you take the lip gloss one out of it I do so that's pretty it's a little bit more opaque all right, so now that I have this on and I mean, they're pretty much the same in formulation, I'm going to say that it's really comfortable. I think I like this more than the Fenty Gloss Balm. Definitely like it more than the Lux Gloss from ColourPop. I think it's a thinner formula. It has an easier glide to it. And for me, that is more important than staying power. However, I can see this definitely staying longer. When I was wiping it off, it wasn't as easy a wipe to to get the whole product off I still felt a little bit of that sticky and tackiness to a lip gloss which in most cases means uh, longevity in terms of their wear which is great because if this can stay long on my lips but it feel as comfortable as it does because it feels pretty thin I'm definitely gonna take a liking to it but kind of in the spectrum of where my lip gloss collection is now it would probably be the ColourPop lip oil then the butter gloss maybe even this I'm not sure sometimes the butter gloss goes on a little too thick so maybe a toss up between this and the butter glosses from NYX and then I would go Fenty Beauty and then the Lux glosses from ColourPop. I don't know if lip oils necessarily go in the same category as lip glosses but for me the way that I use it it makes sense to put them together so basically if you like thicker glosses this I don't really think this is for you I'm just being honest it is not a thick gloss it's a very comfortable I would say pretty sheer coverage lip gloss and it just it's not tacky which is amazing this feels so nice on the lips no lie I was thinking that I was gonna end up liking the Fenty gloss balm a lot more than these I, I was wrong I like these I like these more okay so let's do a roundup of my thoughts and opinions on the lip products that i've got i'm just going to talk about formulation first and then we'll get into colors so let's start off with the lipstick finishes very comfortable it's a lightweight velvet matte so it's not going to dry your lips down it stays creamy the whole time again just be careful with the back and forth motion rubbing the lipsticks on your lips because you'll get those kind of gap lines in between but as far as the colors that I've picked I would say again peep show if you're interested in a light peachy color like a light peachy nude I would go with this one then this one is the shade Fembot along with a brown lipstick I think this is the perfect go-to pink nude for people with tan complexions and lastly we have Venus in furs which I would consider a dusty mauve shade and will look really good with people from medium to medium deep complexions got a bit of a gray undertone to it so just be aware now we have the lip gloss formulation this is their lust gloss formula this is the third time I put it on the more I put it on the more I like it I really do like them and I love the colors that I picked out this one will be great if you just want like a really sheer formula kind of just more of the shine with a little bit of the those glimmer specks in it this is such a pretty shade and this is the one that I have on my lips right now this is such a go-to shade for me I forget which one in Mac was very similar to this and I finished it like completely I would say that this is probably the must-have shade for me somewhere like between these two shades I need these in my collection because I go to them every single time and you can see that with my other gloss purchases from other brands it's, it's right around this color shade category so I think out of the two purchases the lipstick and the lip gloss I'm really impressed with the lip glosses because I have so many great lipsticks already I've gotten rid of so many of my lip glosses and I'm still trying to find the formula that I really like and I think I think this comes pretty close to what I'm looking for because as much as I love lip oils I think going on top of lipsticks lip glosses go on a lot better I will admit that so if I'm going to be applying lip colors on top I might want to be going with these like they're so comfortable on my lips it's just so it's such a soft slippery glide I might just get off the camera and go back to Pat McGrath and see if there are other shades that I might want to pick up and just really honestly 
give up all of the lip glosses that I don't like in my collection. I think there's about two or three of them. So thank you guys for joining me in this video, this kind of first impressions lip swatch video. By the way, this eyeshadow look, I used the Celestial Divinity palette, which was the holiday release for 2020 from the wonderful mother that is Pat McGrath. And if you're interested in the eyeshadow look or just makeup look in general, check me out on Instagram. First link in the description box down below where I post a photo of this makeup look along with all the products in the caption. Till the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys.